Well, lots of musical stars are doing their bits and uh, none so more than the Manic Street Preachers. Uh, we've talked about it this morning, playing two gigs at the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff this December. All the profits are going to NHS Wales at charities. Uh, the first night, a free show just for NHS staff. I'm delighted to say James Dean Bradfield uh, joins us now. Hello, James. Hello, good morning. Uh, an amazing gesture. Uh, there's been an amazing response to what you're deciding to do on social media. Uh, lots of people uh, thinking it's a wonderful thing. Why have you decided to do it? Um, well, it's an easy way to uh, to respond to the crisis for somebody that plays music, I suppose. You know, do a couple of concerts. Um, uh, but I suppose in a universal way, you know, we've all got a stake in the NHS. You know, we've all got a connection to the NHS. You know, my father was being treated at the NHS last year to, to, to incredible effect. Um, my mother was treated on the NHS for years and years. Nick's parents were treated at the NHS. Um, you know, my wife's brother and sister-in-law are nurses in the NHS. We've all got friends that work in the NHS as doctors and porters, etc. We've all got a stake and a connection to the NHS, and they do such an incredibly hard job. And, and their job has just become harder, um, which seems incredibly unfair on them. So it's just a way to show that, that you know that the job that they do means the world to us all. I suppose, really, it's as simple as that. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, this coronavirus, we're, we're all being touched by it in one way or another. Uh, putting on a show like this, I think they're your only UK dates this year. You know, how big of a challenge is that? Oh, hopefully it won't be a challenge. I mean, just we're trying to see into the future. You know, hopefully everything you know should be okay and people should be playing concerts by then. Um, uh, but I suppose the biggest challenge might be that, you know, 100% of the NHS are not fans of the Ma of Manning Street Preachers, so we might have to do a few more covers. How do you know that? I bet they're all I fans. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be presumptuous, you know. <laughs> um, but kind of, you know, you know, the night that we play, it would be a party night. It would be a greatest hits night, and we would do a lot of covers that we wouldn't usually do as well. Um, and if you don't look upon that as a challenge, it would be something we'd look forward to. Yeah, in terms of, of the virus and the outbreak, I mean, how is it affecting you as a band? I mean, have you had to cancel gigs? Oh, it's the same as everybody. Um, everybody's had work cancelled, and, and we are no different. You know, uh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't Most people that are not involved in frontline jobs, you know, it, it, involved in this crisis, you know, have had work cancelled, and we're no different. Um, yes, all summer we had gigs planned, and, and just like all the other bands out there, um, no matter where they're from, you know, all that is cancelled, it, it would seem. Um, so, <laughs> I suppose in a self selfish way, this would be something to look forward to, because, you know, uh, it'll get to a certain point of a year where you think, oh, wow, I miss playing live, you know, I miss yeah. the blood sport of playing live, I miss that connection. It's nice, for, it's nice for everybody for something to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah, and you'd imagine, you know, that those concerts in December when we're through all this will be, you know, the atmosphere will be incredible. It'll be a celebration for all of us, won't it? I mean, it, oh, in terms hopefully, of... Hopefully, you know, gigs in Cardiff in December usually are just, you know, no holds bar experiences, definitely. Yeah, absolutely, and there will be a lot to celebrate. Um, in terms of being home, James, and, and self-isolating, I know you have young children. How's the homeschooling going? How are you keeping busy? Ah, oh, I'm a great teacher. My attention span goes to around about eight minutes every lesson, I think. Um, it's kind of, it's, it's all good, you know. I mean, kind of, uh, I, I think, uh, kind of, uh, my wife is a bit of a better teacher than me, I must say. Um, uh, my cooking skills are getting rehomed. Again, like everybody else, I think everybody's delving into their old recipe books and, and looking to see, um, you know, how, how do you cook a potato rosti? You know, <laughs> that's it, the level of my, my newly, newly acquired skills at the moment, I think. It's, it's a very good question. Maybe teach the kids to, to play the guitar? Um, I, my young boy's only interested in, in eating, fighting and playing football at the moment. <laughs> so, um, but my, um, my, younger, my, 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 my other child, um, the girl who's older, she's much more um, interested in the piano. So, kind of, my inheritance has not been picked up yet. <laughs> but I, I, but I'd imagine you've got lots of music on, playing lots of music, lots of singing in the house. Oh yeah, no, we've kind of, um, yeah, kind of, absolutely. Um, I, uh, the kind of music I'm playing sometimes gets shouted down, <laughs> and my wife and the kids' choice um, tends to win a bit more. But uh, yeah, it's, to be honest, it's, I suppose when you're all pushed together for such a long time, it starts to feel 
natural again. You mm-hmm. know, it starts to feel cool. It starts. To, it's, it's, there kind of there are upsides to it. Um, perhaps at the end of this day, when everybody's turned down my turned down my choice of menu, I'm not. Be, I might not be so positive. Uh, but kind of yeah, when you're forced together like this, sometimes it starts feeling good again. You know, it starts feeling as if that kind of it's just that warmth comes back and you're all arguing about things in a good way and you're all sharing things and, and that's nice yeah absolutely and, and you know making the most of this time uh, together in, in terms of tickets for the two shows in December how can fans get hold of them um, well they go on sale this Friday uh, the 10th um, and it's in the usual way you know um, the first night the, the first gig um, on the 4th is for NHS NHS workers um, exclusively. So you know, somebody from the NHS buys two tickets in their name, and then they're allowed to bring a guest along, um, and they've got to take their identification with them that night. So that's the first night, and then the second night, um, every bit, every every bit of the money that comes from ticket proceeds that night uh, will go towards NHS charities, and those tickets uh, go on sale Friday morning. Great. It's going to be a great two nights in uh, December. James, thank you so much for your time this morning. Good luck with the baking and the cooking. Hope they appreciate it, the family, uh, when we go through to the other side of this. Thank you so much, James, at James Dean Bradfield there. Thank you for talking to us here at BBC Radio Wales.